he said, um, he pulled up a piece of paper off his desk. He said, I just got this memo from the Secretary of Defense's office. It says we're going to attack and destroy the governments in, in seven countries in five years. We're going to start with Iraq, and then we're going to move to Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and Iran. I said, seven, seven countries in five years. I said, is that a classified memo? He said, yes, sir. I said, well, don't show it to me. He was about to show it to me. He said, because I want to talk about it. We meet here at a moment of testing for Europe and the United States and for the international order that we have worked for generations to build. I congratulate you on taking your place on the long gray line. But the world is changing with accelerating speed. This presents opportunity, but also new dangers. It will be your generation's task to respond to this new world. Police dressed like army special forces, driving armored tanks and holding assault rifles, the sight of which alone is enough to terrify innocent people into submission. The militarization of local police departments is not only changing the way peaceful communities once looked, it's also bringing the battle mentality to our neighborhoods. We may not see police as a threat to us now, but when peace officers are geared up like soldiers, they'll eventually act like they're going to war.